for a scientist, a theory is the best answer that we have. And the best answer that we have is that billions of years ago, there has been a Big Bang and the universe keeps expanding since then. Measuring variable stars is essential for measuring that expansion. They look for a very special type of star called a Cepheid variable. If you know how bright an object is, you can calculate its distance. I've written a program. It calculates the brightness of a star in a photo. The big advantage of my software is making star observation possible for everyone. To get the pictures, I attach a camera to the telescope and then I use my laptop to take the photos. Other young scientists, for example, watch what Marcus does and think, well, you know what, I may be able to do something similar with that particular discipline. So I just think it's absolutely wonderful what Marcus has achieved. I won the first prize in the national contest in Bavaria. My perspective was the one of a young astronomer who has very little equipment and wants to get good results. The idea of the observatory being built was it gives people the ability to visit a facility which is dedicated to one thing and one thing only, getting ordinary members of the public to the eyepiece of big telescopes and allowing them to access how our universe works. This is precisely what Marx is doing. The vastness of the universe, where else is out there? Wow, how can it not capture it, right? Just need your telescope, a camera and my ThinkPad and I can learn something about the world and the universe.